Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Tian Yu from Terry Chu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. And the method we'll be using is the Gauss method. So let's take a look at the question first. Jack adds up the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on on a calculator. When he reaches the sum of 331, he realizes that he has forgotten to add one number. What is that number? So basically, right, what Jack is doing is he's just adding consecutive numbers on his calculator. So after plus 3, we'll have like plus 4, plus 5, up until a certain number. We don't really know what that number is. However, during this entire process, he forgot to add one number. So therefore, the number that he got on his calculator, which is 331, is technically smaller, take note of that, is smaller than the actual number he should have gotten. So, before we even look at this question, let's say I wanted to add 1 plus 2 plus all the way into 10. How would I do that? Well, you might think this isn't really hard, right? But is there a better way to do it? Well, that's when the Gauss method comes in. So, this right here, I'm going to explain to you what the Gauss method is. First of all, you add the first and last number together and you put them in a bracket like this. Following that, you multiply by the total number of numbers. So in this case, 1 to 10, how many numbers do I have? I have 10 numbers. So I multiply that by 10. And once you have all of this, you divide it by 2. So just for your convenience, I'm going to label this. This is add first and last number. This right here is multiply by, by total numbers. And if you do some simple calculations, this right here should give you 55 as your answer. So what is Jack essentially doing? He's basically doing a Gauss sum on his calculator as well, right? And if you remember what I mentioned earlier, the answer which he got on his calculator, 335, 331, sorry, is smaller than the actual answer he should be getting because he forgot one number. So how do we do this question? There's actually two things we need to do. We need to assume a final number. Why do we need to do that? Because we don't know how big his addition got to, right? And the second thing we need to do is the Gauss sum must be more than the value of 331, as we talked about just now. So I'm just going to assume a random number. Let's say I assume that my final number is 25. In that case, the Gauss sum of that would be 1 plus 25 in the bracket times 25 because there's 25 numbers in total divided by 2. And if I were to work that out, I would get 325. That's my answer. Now, 325, it's not big enough, right? Because we've already mentioned that the Gauss sum has to be more than 331. However, 325 is really close to the number we're looking for. Which means, if I took 325 plus one more number, which is 26, that's the number after 25, right? I get 351. This right here would meet both my criteria. Which means, I can safely say that my final number is 26. This right here is my final number. And we can also know that the difference between 351 and 331 would be my missing number. Why is that? Because throughout the entire edition, Jack only forgot one number. Which means, if you add that missing number to 331, you should get 351. So in order to find a missing number, all I have to do now is take 351 minus 331 and I'll get 20. Which means my missing number is equals to 20. And that's how we use Gossum to solve this question. 
we have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.